Good morning, good morning everyone. I'm going to do a little day in the life vlog today. Haven't done one of those in a really long time, so I figured I would do one today. Um, Colin just woke up and I woke up with him. It is about 7 a.m. right now. Riley's still asleep and Nora's still asleep, so I'm gonna let them just keep sleeping. Normally, the very first thing I do in the morning is make myself a cup of coffee, but on mornings when I'm working out, which is this morning, I don't do that because I take a pre-workout, which already has 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, and I don't need all of that. 200 milligrams of caffeine is plenty. So I'm gonna go get Colin some breakfast, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast, and I'll just drink water until I'm about to go work out, and then I'll do my my uh, pre-workout at that point. So today is a pretty standard day. We have our babysitter for some time in the middle of the day. I have a workout scheduled in the morning. I'm going to go to work during the middle of the day, of course, while our babysitter is here. Um, and then we just are all together in the evening. So this is like a very, this type of day happens about two to three days a week. So it's pretty typical. And because I'm not at home with the kids as the primary caregiver all day today, I'll actually have some time to film. So that should make it a little bit easier. But I'm gonna go get Kali some breakfast, get myself something to eat, and I just start to kind of get our day going. Yesterday was kind of a strange day because the city shut off our water from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and so we couldn't be at home. So we went over to my mother-in-law's house and spent the day at her house, which was great. Her house is so nice. Um, and she has this gorgeous backyard that the kids love to play in and she has a great playroom full of toys. And so it was, it really wasn't bad, but I wasn't able to like get anything, you know, I couldn't switch out laundry or meal prep or do anything like that. So um, it was kind of an interesting day from a productivity standpoint, but it was fun for the kids. So, you know, the water's back on today. So we're grateful for that. Anyway, let's jump in. It is a Thursday today, if that's important in any way, um, but I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to our Thursday. Our latest obsession in our family has been this Hamilton Beach breakfast sandwich maker. So it's still preheating right now, but we have been making these breakfast sandwiches like every single day um, for weeks and they're so, so good. So you basically, you preheat the whole thing and then I'll show you and I'll put it in, but you put some kind of bread at the bottom. We use English muffins most of the time, or you can use like a mini bagel, or you could even cut a piece of bread in a circle. And then you put any meat or cheese that you would want on the breakfast sandwich there. And then you pull this down. And in this disc, you crack an egg. And um, and then you put, you just on the raw egg, you put a the top of the English muffin, then you close it for five minutes. And then when it's done, you slide this disc out so the egg drops down into the rest of it and then you have your whole breakfast sandwich. You just pull this up. It's like so genius. It's certainly you can make a breakfast sandwich without this little thing, but it's just so nice to only have to wash. Like this whole piece comes out. You just wash this piece and it's like the easiest thing. So anyway, I'm gonna make myself one. I will show you it and um, it's really delicious. We love it. All right, it's preheated. Bluey is now on, so you're gonna hear that in the background. Um, but here's how we do it. So first of all, we take the bottom piece. Now lately, we have been doing these like fake um, McGriddles. If you've ever had a McGriddle from McDonald's, it has like a drizzle of syrup in the bread. So we just do like a little drizzle, and it just adds like a little sweetness. This is sugar-free syrup. We used the rest of our maple syrup yesterday. And then oh, you put the cheese in next because you don't want it to be against the, um, I don't know what that's called, but the hot part. <laughs> and then you put in the sausage and then you flip down to the next layer. And um, Riley usually just uses like cooking spray, but I prefer to use real butter. So I just do a little bit of real butter. And then you can either just crack an egg in there, which is what Riley does because he likes it. Um, he likes it separate. I like it incorporated into a scrambled egg. And then I just take some salt and some pepper. And then we just wipe down our countertops, don't worry. I'm gonna do another little drizzle. This is all one-handed, so it's kind of sloppy, but you get the idea. And then you put this down on top, and then you close it. I'm going to set a timer for five minutes and I will show you it when it's done. While that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and unload 
our dishwasher. We run it every night, so it's not too bad today. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload it in those five minutes so that it will be empty and ready for the day. And the dishwasher is empty with 11 seconds left on the timer. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. So the timer just buzzed, so it is done. Yes, and you can see that the egg is cooked, so I'm just gonna slide this out and push this down. Pull this up. So you can see it is like the perfect little egg patty. It's very, very, very hot. <laughs> when it comes out, so be careful. And I usually like to sit it, let it sit for a handful of minutes, maybe like three to five minutes, because it is just so, so hot. But I'm telling you, it is like the most delicious. We've tried it with regular bacon, Canadian bacon, with ham. I mean, we've tried it all variety of ways. This is my current favorite, because like I said, I used to love McGriddles so much, like when we were kids and we would take little road trips and stuff. I haven't had one in a while. I think the last time I had one was when I was pregnant, but anyway, it really tastes like it and it's so good and very filling. And uh, yeah, I will link, I will link this little gadget below if you are interested. It'd also be great for kids who are making their own breakfast because I mean, it could not be easier. So I'm gonna unplug it um, and probably Riley will wanna use it when he comes out. I just got dressed for the gym and I'm filling up my water cup for the gym and getting some ice. We have had this ice maker now for um, maybe eight, nine, ten months. We love it. All right, that should be good. And then let me get my pre-workout and then I'm gonna head to the gym. So this is the pre-workout that I use. It's the Alani pre-workout and it tastes so good. It tastes just like a blue slushy, like you would get from like a gas station, like an icy, a blue icy. It's really yummy. And um, it has caffeine in it and then a few other things. And I notice such an enormous difference when I take it versus when I don't take it. I feel like it really gives me an extra kick and I get a better workout. So I really enjoyed taking it lately. I couldn't take it when I was breastfeeding. Um, so it's been nice ever since I have weaned to be able to utilize this. So I'm going to do a scoop in some water and take it and then head out to the gym. <laughs> My mommy is talking to the camera. Oh yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> so we're gym people now. Kinda. <laughs> so show everybody what you're up to. I was gonna make some protein uh, stuff for probably after my workout and then have a little premier protein before my workout. But this stuff's really good. Yes, this chocolate, is so good. Um, and chocolate chip. This is from like a local, it's from Austin, Texas, but I ordered it off Amazon. I'll link it below. It's the mint chocolate chip, mint chip ice cream. It's really good. Made with real cookie pieces. Oh. So he's putting it without any liquid in here so that he can mix it later. Because what, are you going to the gym over lunch? Yeah, I'll probably put liquid in here though. Oh, you will? Probably. And then just mix it, and then before I go, mix it up again. Think it's going to be bad? Yeah, I would, I would mix it right before. Okay. I don't know, just the thought of it sitting there kind of freaks me out. Me too, but I got over it. So <laughs> you said that. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just drank my pre-workout, so I'm gonna head out. Um, Riley just pulled out some of our chicken. He's going to get from the garage freezer another pack. Um, but we still love Butcher Box, and we order a big Butcher Box every single month. We've just been so happy. This is organic, free-range chicken. It tastes so good. So it's 8.41, and I'm meeting my trainer at nine, so it's time for me to go. But we're gonna thaw these, and then when I come back this afternoon, I will marinate them, and then we'll have some grilled chicken um, for dinner probably with like rice and veggies. Easy meal. Okay, good morning. Let's see, what time is it? <laughs> it's 8.57. So I am here at the gym in the nick of time. 
Um, I'm gonna gather up my stuff and go inside. So um, I have been working out with a trainer two days a week since early September. And then I have been coming in separately from her and doing my own workouts, which mimic what we do together, um, another one to two days a week. So I've been working about three to four days a week and it feels so good. We actually, on this past Tuesday, two days ago, we took my measurements um, which we hadn't done in a few months, and I have lost five inches in my belly, um, which is definitely my most insecure area. So I feel really accomplished because the scale is not moving a whole lot since I'm doing so much weightlifting, um, but that was really rewarding to see. Um, <clears throat> so we have started, we meaning my trainer and I have started doing, um, she has me doing a lot of HIIT workouts most of the time um, and so I wear a heart rate monitor like a chest heart rate monitor that straps under my bra and then um, she has it go to like the data goes to her phone and so she has me do one minute where I'm in like the 90 to 95 percent range and then she does like a rest minute but I'm still at 80 percent so it's really really hard I'm still really tired and sore from Tuesday um but it feels really good I can feel myself getting in better shape I have more endurance I have way more energy like all of the good things so it's definitely been a worthwhile investment of my time and money um, even though, you know, it's, it's tiring, it's hard, but it's been a good, really good challenge for me. So I'm going to go in and get my workout done and, uh, I will check in afterwards, but, um, it wouldn't be a accurate day in the life these days if I wasn't heading to the gym because I've been, I've become a bit of like a gym rat. I just really have enjoyed my me time at the gym and, um, the way that my mind just clears out while I'm in there and it's just something to do for me. And I've roped Riley in. <laughs> Without saying anything, I've roped Riley in. I just was like, I'm getting so much better sleep. I feel so much more energetic, all this stuff. And he's like, you know, I'm gonna start going. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> but it's been awesome. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, hello, I forgot to check in. Um, I It's 11.40 now and I got up here around, probably about 10, 15 or so. My workout was about an hour and 15 minutes from start to finish. It was a really good workout. I'm, I'm actually not as red as I usually am. Usually I'm red in the face after a good workout for like at least two hours, but I've been drinking lots of water. I got another Stanley cup because I love the other one that I have so much. I got it for Christmas and um, I use it so often, but I wanted to be able to swap them so that one could go in the dishwasher every night and then I could use the other one. And then, so they were getting washed every single day um, because I felt like I was only washing it every few days. And with as much as I'm like taking it everywhere, I felt like mm, I, would, I would rather be in a habit of getting it washed more often. So. That's that. Um, since I've been up here, I have answered all of my emails. I spoke briefly with my cousin. I packaged up any orders that have come in since I was up here on Tuesday. Um, I invoiced a company. Um, just all of like the things that I do. I placed a huge order um, of garments on Tuesday to restock my shop. So that will be like my work for next week. We'll be restocking and sharing that things are restocked and all of that. But um, I placed that order, like I said, on Tuesday. Um, so what I typically do is I I go into the back end of my shop, I see what's low in, in inventory, and then I have a spreadsheet on Google Docs that Riley is has access to. And on that spreadsheet, I say what the design is, what the garment is, the garment ID number, the color of the garment, and whether it's embroidered, screen printed, DTG, like how we're creating it. And then, you know, what the design is, if I didn't already say that, and um, then how many of every size. And so it's very streamlined because I place the order, I put the information on that sheet, which on Tuesday I did so many um, I ordered, so usually I only restock maybe like five at a time, but on Tuesday I did 10, 10 different designs, including a couple of, um, 
new ones, which is really fun. And so all 10 of those batches of garments will go directly to Riley's studio. And then when he unpacks the boxes, he can access this spreadsheet and see what design goes on them. And that at his convenience, he can embroider them. And then there's also a guy that works up there that sometimes we pay overtime to work on some of my stuff. Sometimes Riley does it. It's just kind of, we have like a whole thing going. Um, and they actually up at his shop just ordered another six head embroidery machine. So if you've been following along for a while, you might be able to picture up at Riley's studio, the big six head machine that has six spots for embroidering. You know, you embroider the same design, um, which obviously makes bulk orders like way easier than doing it one by one and so they already have one six head and now they have another six head so they'll have 12 heads plus the single it's going to be awesome i'm super excited um it's a really really exciting step for the company so i'm really excited about that but that's kind of what i've been up to is like getting my inventory going and um all of that this new setup has been so much more streamlined. If you remember, it used to be I would place orders with my suppliers based on what was ordered and then I would have to go up to Riley's studio and unpack those boxes and sort each garment by size and color into each design and it just took hours and hours and hours and hours of time. Um, this is just so much better. And then on my customer's end, I'm shipping things out oftentimes same day, next day, or within two days. My official timeline that I have on my shop site is from in like three to five business days. And sometimes it does take that long depending, but almost always like it's very, very quick. And I know my customers are loving that so much that they're like ordering stuff on a Monday and getting it on like a Wednesday, you know, it's, it's awesome. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday, depending on where they live in the country. Even international customers have been like, oh my gosh, I ordered from you on a Tuesday and I had the package in hand the following Tuesday. Um, because we do ship all over the world, if you didn't know that. So if you haven't had a chance to check out my new shop, make sure to go check it out, Blair Lamb Design. And make sure you sign up for the newsletter. If you just scroll to the bottom of the homepage, there's a spot for that because that's where I send emails out whenever we place restocks and I also send emails out whenever there's a sale going on. Um, so there's going to be some fun restocks coming up soon. There's going to be a couple that are for anyone who is a fellow book lover like me, a fellow fiction lover like me. Um, so that'll be exciting. There'll be a couple of anyway, I won't go into every single design, but stay tuned because there's some fun ones. So it is just about noon now like I said now it's 11 45 that which means I've been talking for five minutes um so I'm going to head home and go shower so on days that I go work out I typically either work out and then just like this I bop up to my office for a little bit to like get some admin stuff done and then I go back home and shower or if I'm going to be hunkered down up here for a while then I go home and shower first and then come up to my office um but I don't have tons of work that that needs to be done up here and so um, I got done what needs to be done up here and then I have my laptop at home so what I will most likely do is go home shower um, get some work done on my laptop while also throwing in a load of laundry tidying up just like doing some household things um, that can be a little bit tricky because our babysitters at home with our kids we're obsessed with our babysitter you know when somebody comes into your life and you're like, this person was just like handpicked by God to be in our life at this time? This is our babysitter. She's so sweet. She's so wonderful. She's great with the kids. And then beyond that, she is so organized. And so I love that we can sit down and look at our calendars and get all the dates on the calendar for the month. And, and she shows up five minutes early and she's just so reliable and it's such a gift and such a blessing. We just love her. And then even more than that, she's in the middle of nursing school. So she has like a really good understanding of she's like in her in the later part of nursing school. And so it is so helpful because my sweet son, Colin, is he's just a wild man. He's just one of those kids that's completely fearless. Nora wasn't this way. He climbs up on things, jumps off of things, throws huge boulders. Like he's just a very gross motor boy and he gets hurt a lot. Um, and like he's never, we've never had to take him like to the ER or anything, but he like slams fingers and bumps head like all the time. <laughs> 
those of you who have rough and tumble kids, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a different type of kid. Like Nora is like, she does puzzles and she plays with her dollhouse and she colors. And Colin is like legit swinging from our, the chandelier in our kitchen. Um, so having our babysitter have some medical knowledge has been so helpful because she's able to like relay the injuries of the day to us and keep make sure that like everything's good like a few weeks ago he doesn't get injured every day but a few weeks ago he fell and he really hit his head hard and she knew enough to know that like when she put him down for his nap she went and checked on him like every 10 minutes to make sure that he was okay because a head injury can be serious it was it really wasn't that serious but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, we love her. We trust her. She's wonderful. And I just talked to her on Tuesday when um, when she was over and we were talking. Oh, she just texted me. Oh, yes. It's in the diaper bag. Isn't that funny when you're talking about someone and then they text you? She just texted where the sound machine is. Um... We took it with us yesterday because we were at my mother-in-law's all day because of the water being out. I think what I was trying to say earlier was that it's sometimes tricky working from home because my kids are there and they want me to hang out with them. <clears throat> hang out with them, but they love our babysitter so much that usually she can distract them enough that we I can actually check some things off my list. So it's kind of, it's a good, it's a good setup. Okay. Okay, I just got out of the shower and I am going to do some skincare and I thought I would talk a little bit about skincare the first thing I'm using is the Dermaflash Active Cocooning Serum. I love this stuff. I still use my Dermaflash to dermaplane my face once a week, and I'm still loving the results that I'm getting from that, like, so much. If ever I forget to do it on my Sunday night, like, it's like the first thing I do on Monday because I love it so much. Um, so... Put that on that's really nice and soothing because i went to the dermatologist about five weeks ago now maybe six weeks ago and i've been using medicated face wash and a medicated serum which i'll use here at the end um and it's both can be very both of those two things can be very drying so it's nice to have something that's soothing. I also like using that after I um, do the Derma Flash, um, which I do once a week and love still. So that's the first thing. And then I'm still loving the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. Um, I love this stuff. It's so soothing. It's so good. It's just as good as the higher end um, nighttime creams that I've tried in the past. So I was like, well, it's about one fourth of the cost. So I'm going to do that. Also, I want to tell you about these earrings. I love these earrings. They're little like gold huggies. They hug really tight to your ear. I'll link them below. I wanted something that I could just wear in the shower, wear to bed, wear like all the time. And these are great. They're so comfortable because the back is smooth. Can you see that? And so it doesn't um, dig in. So I just wear them to sleep, wear them all the time. And then when we're going on like a date night or if we have some kind of social event or something like that, maybe church on Sunday, if I want to wear different earrings, I'll switch them out. But otherwise I can just wear them all the time. I also like them at the gym because there's no risk of me like pulling them out or anything um, while I'm working out, which is really great. Okay, so I just did the face cream, and that's the nighttime one, and even though it's the middle of the day, I, I pretty much use it all the time because of the products I'm using for my dermatologist, which, like I said, are drying, so I need something a little bit heavier. Some Sometimes, if I'm going to put on makeup, I'm not going to today, I'll use this on my face instead, which is lighter, um, but a lot of times I'll just do that. And then, I'm going to use you as my mirror, and then this is um, what I'm using from the dermatologist this is the serum so it's adapalene which is the same as differin which is what i was using before but the differin gel is 0.1 percent concentration and this one is 0.3 percent so it's stronger and this also has benzoyl peroxide 2.5 percent so um especially the benzoyl peroxide can be very drying so i put 
like a little pea amount. And I focus it around my jawline because that is where I break out the most, sometimes a little bit down my neck, but mostly on my jawline. So I actually put it on last, I think, probably like the dermatologist would say to put it on before the lotion, but my skin is too sensitive for that. So when I was doing that, I was peeling a lot. And since I've been doing it like this, there's no more peeling. And then I just use a little bit of the leftovers for my forehead. And that is my skincare. I have been very relieved to start to see. I still have like a couple, I mean, these aren't active though. Um, to start seeing clear skin because what happened was my skin was actually pretty darn clear for me. And then um, I weaned Colin from nursing and that hormonal shift, I was every day waking up with just like so much acne and I could not get under control. So that's why I went to the dermatologist and she talked me through it and um, made a plan for me. And then I am going to do a check-in with her um, at eight weeks. So probably in another two to three weeks. I think it's about, been about five or six since I went and got the prescriptions. But like my skin's looking pretty good, actually. Um, she said it take it really takes eight weeks for all of those products that I'm using to like work together and really see like major results. But um, I am happy with it. So I'm gonna put my watch back on. I know you can wear your watch in the shower, but I just don't, I like to wash like my whole arm. I don't know. Is that weird? So I always take it off. Sometimes I forget, but a lot of times I take it off. All right, I'm going to put on something comfy and my best college friend Ange just called me. So I'm going to give her a call back while I'm getting dressed and while I make my bed and stuff, um, which is all pretty typical for my typical days. Like go up to my office after I work out, come back, take a quick shower. I didn't wash my hair because I washed it yesterday. Um, and then get into some comfies. I usually tidy up our bedroom if I didn't have time to do it in the morning, which I almost never have time to do it in the morning. So I'm gonna tidy it up. And then I have my laptop here. So I'm just gonna get some work done um, for the next couple of hours. And yeah, it's about one o'clock now. So it's been a good productive day so far. Okay, let me get myself dressed. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I just ate a little lunch and I still have just a little bit more time with our babysitter here this afternoon. And um, I started a load of laundry. I put those clothes away my sister sent me. I double checked all my work stuff. Like I'm good to go for today. So whenever this happens, I get my Kindle and I read a couple of chapters in whatever book I'm reading. The book I'm reading right now is um, called, I think it's called Fin. I don't know if they if you're supposed to say Finlay or Finley, but Finlay Donovan is killing it is the name of it, and it's about a woman who is an author and she writes um, like murder mysteries. That's what she writes, and someone overhears her and thinks that she is like a contract killer, and so it's like a, this goofy, silly thing. I had high hopes for it because the plot sounded really funny. Um, but I'm not, the character development is just falling pretty short for me. So I'm about 60% through. So we'll see how I feel about it once I've finished. But I just want more from the characters and I like want to know them more. And I'm just not really getting that. But it's it's a fun, light, easy read either which way. I'm, I still enjoy reading it. So um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I used to feel so guilty when I had extra time with our babysitter here using it for like personal stuff. But now it's like such a joy to get to just like read a few chapters of my book uninterrupted and rest. And then I feel like I'm such a more engaged mom once I say goodbye to the babysitter and I am back on full mom duty for the rest of the afternoon and evening because I had a chance to take a deep breath. So I'm a big fan. So I'm going to go do that. I don't know whether I was weekly vlogging or not, but Months ago, I gathered up all of the clothes that are in the summer color palette and I shipped them to my sister because she's a summer and she just returned the favor and sent me everything in her closet, which is mostly green. She loves green, but she said she never has felt good in it. So it makes sense that she is not in autumn, um, but she sent me all of her autumn, autumn outfits and, um, you know, clothing items. I really love this dress. This is so neat. 
really cute. Um, and then like a moss green bathing suit and a cream sweater. She does better with stark white being a summer. Um, this is just like a little t-shirt. This one, this is kind of like a gray green um, in the autumn color palette. It's kind of, called, it's probably between like lizard gray and one of the green tones because it does have some gray in it. And then these are, these are cute. Just like some casual shorts. And then she sent a headband, which reminds me so much of her because she used to wear it all the time in the fall. And uh, I don't think this is hers. I think my mom might have given this to her and then she passed it on to me because I don't think she wears scarves like that very much. But I'm very grateful for these clothes. So I'm going to go ahead and hang them up in my closet. Oh, and these are like chinos from Loft. They're really cute. So... Charlie's barking lots and lots. I'm gonna go ahead and hang all this stuff up in my closet so I can start getting some use out of it. Okay. Hey guys, I've tried to film this segment like 12 times. Riley just got home from work. How was work? Really good, very really busy and stuff. And you went to the gym? I went to the gym, yeah, that was good. How was your protein shake? Mm -hmm. It was all right. He ended up mixing it in the morning. Even though I said I wouldn't it. Do wasn't going to be any better or worse if I mixed it. Mm. It's not like better or fresh. It's like literally like powder and water. Yeah, but if you do, well, I like to do it in the vitamin or the um, Nutribullet and I add a scoop of ice. Mm. So it makes it like icy. I kind of wish I'd done just water instead of Really? Water. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, Riley's grilling chicken that I marinated this afternoon. We did an early bath for the kids because they were playing outside in the mud when... <laughs> Dad's got some jams going. They were outside playing in the dirt with our babysitter when I, uh... Oh, you look great. I love those pajamas, baby. Daddy's outside grilling. This is why I haven't been vlogging when I'm with the kids because it's just really hard. Um, we did early baths because they were super muddy and dirty. We usually do bath time after dinner. Usually, like every single night, one of us does bath time and one of us cleans up the kitchen after dinner. But it's a little different tonight, huh? I absolutely love after he gets out of the bath when he has his little comb over. You're so cute. You're so cute. Colin, what, col what color is... What color are your pajamas? No, what color are your pajamas? What color is this? Red. Red? Oh, I need to get down. There's your ball. Hi, hopefully. Here, you want to come say hi to the camera? Yeah. Got to do your hair in a second. Cute girl. Nora has her sunshine on. Thank you, baby girl. <laughs> so we're going to go spray your little curl. Conditioner in there and get it all nice and and fresh, no, no, huh? You can't go out there. You're all clean. You can't go out there. No, you definitely you can't go outside, Kali. Okay, I gotta go, Mom. But um, we're getting dinner ready. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, any moms who have kids with curly hair, we absolutely love this So Cozy Kids brand, and we also use this same brand in the uh, shampoo. Nora, come sit up here so I can brush your hair, please. <laughs> You can see that this is what it looks like at the end of a day. Okay, so I just do turn this way. Look towards the kitchen, baby girl. There you go. Just do a light spritz of it. And then I brush it through. As she gets older, we'll have to I'd change this routine up probably and maybe not I know you're not supposed to brush curly hair like this but this works really well for her at this age in the morning we just spritz it with water and it's so pretty once again but her hair is like true ringlets if I can show you like it's so so cute so I'm just gonna brush it through for her while she watches TV and then we're gonna all eat dinner together Okay, so here it is done. Can you see? It is so long. Look how long it is. 
but it just it's just the sweetest sweetest curls that you have ever seen I love them so much so this is what we do in the uh, evening and after well just after bath time and then in the morning I have a fine water mist spray so I spray her whole head with that and make sure it's all you know it's lightly damp and then I do a little refresher spray of this stuff um, and we we get it back in order no because it's really muddy out there he's gonna be back in in just a minute while dinner is cooking I am going to have an Ollie pop have you guys heard of these they're like gut health sodas um, so they have prebiotics botanicals and plant fiber they have like nine grams of fiber or something like quite a lot yeah can you see that um, the nutrition facts vary slightly from can to can, but we've tried pretty much all of the flavors. We really like the Dr. Goodwin, the root beer, the strawberries and cream, the cherries and cream, and I really like the banana cream as well, but I, I know that that's not something that everybody would be interested in. Um, so this is like a play on Dr. Pepper. You're not going to taste it and be like, is this Dr. Pepper? But it has like a very similar flavor profile. I really, really like it. And, um... I have seen online people saying that if you drink one of these every day because it has so many good things for you in it and um, the fiber that you'll notice that your tummy will look flatter. And I've definitely noticed that actually because I just feel like it's just so good for you. So anyway, I uh, signed up to be an affiliate with them because we have it on a subscribe and save subscription from their website. And so my code is BlairL15. You get 15% off your order, or if you have a subscription, you get 15% off every subscription. So I don't know, something to consider if you are trying to kick a soda habit, but you really like flavored fizzy drinks, you might really like these. Um, you can usually find them at like Target or Sprouts, health food stores, Whole Foods, places like that, um, if you want to try them out. Um, even sometimes like our local small town little delis and stuff. Little sandwich shops have them usually. Um, they're pricey, but it's a good little treat. So I'm gonna have this while we uh, get dinner cooking. So Riley gave me my Mother's Day gift early and it is a Kindle remote. And here's what it looks like. This was my little reading spot earlier. Um, so with a Kindle, you can't just use like a Bluetooth page turner. It has to physically touch it. So it comes with this little thing that you hook on, it just clips on to the edge of your Kindle. And then you can be laying in whatever direction and you can be all curled up under the blankets and you just, sorry, I was having a hard time focusing, and you just click and it will turn the page and turn the page. So it's, and then if you want to go back, you do have to use your actual finger, but I love it so much. He also got me, he also got me this Kindle holder stand. Um, which I like, but it's hard in, to read in bed because it doesn't, You can, I can't get it so that it's like straight face on that I'm reading. It's still always a little bit tilted. It's not that I dislike this. It's just not as awesome um, for reading in bed, but this for reading in bed is awesome. So usually what I do is I lay here and then I put a pillow here or I just like use my knee and I set it like this so it's on its side and then I just lay and I just like click and have the best time. So Anyway, I thought I would share for all my other Kindle girlies out there. Okay, so here is dinner tonight. The chicken was grilled by Riley, and uh, it was marinated in a garlic parmesan marinade, which is super delicious. And then the rice has a little bit of a tan tint to it because I made it using chicken stock, which is so good, and then lots of green beans. So that is our yummy, healthy, very, very easy Thursday night dinner. Okay, we just finished up dinner, and um, I'm just gonna set you on top of our espresso machine. And um, we are, I'm taking my nighttime vitamins and medicine. And we're trying to decide what the, cor the best course of action will be for tonight because we just got notification that we were under a tornado warning. I still use these care of packets. I've been using them for, I think, years at this point. I absolutely love them. I know I have a code that gets you 50% off, so if you want to try them. But they're like little compostable, biodegradable packets. And then every day, you open one up, and it has all of your vitamins that you 
want for that day. It just makes it really easy and it's great for travel. Sure. Colin's running through the house singing, screaming, really, um, baby shark. But we're trying to decide what to do because it is 7.30 and the kids have already been bathed. They've eaten. Riley's brushing their teeth with them right now. And so we're like, do we put them down or are we going to have to wake them up and go into the storm shelter or like what is going to happen? So I think what we're going to do is just like move through the evening as if um, we're in the clear and we will just monitor the news. And if we have to wake them up, we have to wake them up. But hopefully we can just get them down and they can go um, get a good night's sleep. Just a fun little wrench in our Thursday evening. Um... Dinner was super good, really good, really easy. We've been doing like easy, easy, easy meals. I really love to cook more complicated recipes or even not complicated, but like, I just love to be in the kitchen. I love to be in the kitchen cooking, but this is not the season of life for that, for the most part. So lots of easy meals, lots of grilled meats, usually chicken, with like pasta or rice or something like that, just easy, easy. Um, what do you think about this tornado? It's like a wait, a wait and see situation. Okay, little update. Um, the storm is going to miss us. It looks like the projections. It's close enough now that the projections are very accurate, and it's going to split and miss us. So hopefully, it doesn't affect other folks in the area too much. But we're we are pretty much in the clear. I think we are pretty fairly in the clear. So I'm going to clean up the kitchen. It's not terrible, but I need to tidy it up. So I'm gonna do that now. Let me show you the cutest thing in the whole world. So he tried long division, but he just couldn't do it. So he flub flub brown, making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, forget it. He rushed toward the exit. That's enough, I say. School is way too tough. So and I'm not going to stay. Then a soft, kind voice said, don't you fret. You don't have to know things you haven't learned yet. So it's 8.06. Both kids are asleep. Pretty awesome. Um, can you tell everybody what Colin's been talking about every morning? On Wednesday morning, he woke up. And the first words out of his mouth were... Mo donuts. Dada. Da. Mo donuts. And I was like, that's really cute. And he wouldn't stop. And he was like, Dada. Da. <laughs> Mo donuts. <laughs> and I was like, not today, not today, not today. And I, you know I wanted to go out buy donuts. I really wanted to. But I'm like, no, it's a Friday thing. I like to have a schedule. And then, it was really funny. Then this morning, first thing, Mo donuts. <laughs> All day though, and I told our babysitter I was like, he's asking for donuts in case you don't know what he's talking about. It's donuts because he was asking all morning. So tomorrow it's Friday. We will get donuts on Friday. So he's gonna be like, so he's happy. He's gonna be so excited. Yeah, he has little donut holes. I know. It's really cute that you take Nora to get donuts every Friday. It's really fun. And she loves it. Yeah, I like to have a little thing to do with her. I'd love to figure out what to do with Colin when he's older. I started taking her when she was like really young. I know. She used to wear her donut dress. I know. It was like this floral dress. And she wants to wear it every time and I'm like, you know, you're too big. Oh. It's really a fun thing, but Colin's going to be so happy in the morning. I can't wait. Donuts, donuts. Mo, donuts. He has do such a deep dots. voice. Yeah, mo, donuts. Da da. <laughs> mo, donuts. <laughs> That's the first thing I've noticed him like remembering or like asking for that like he hasn't seen in a week or, so, or more. Right. And he's like, donuts. I really like donuts and I know what the name of them are and I'm going to ask for them. It's really cute. I know. It makes me want to give him a thousand of them. I know. I really almost went that morning. I was like, I'm going to go to QT right now and get him some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah, I'd get him anything. Anything else you want to say to the people since you haven't been on camera since, what, Disney? Wow. No. I started some laundry. I've been doing laundry on and off all day, so I started a fresh load. I lit our beach club candle and cleaned up the kitchen, wiped everything down. Don't look over there into the playroom because it's a mess, but look over here. We got Nora this chair. I'm about to order one for Colin. 
It rocks. It is by the brand Stokey. It's very expensive for what it is. Um, but it's like a grow with me chair. So the foot holder can go up and down and the seat can go up and down. Um, and it's really nice because she can safely get in and out of her chair and sit and eat. And like, it's just really great. Um, so definitely recommend it. And I'm going to get one for Colin because I think that we'll get like multiple years of use out of them. You see the popcorn on the floor? Like, don't be fooled. We still do nightly re like resets every single night, but like these dishes wouldn't fit in the dishwasher. You know, it's just not as good as it used to be. Have you like shit on a, have you done a whole thing about the espresso machine? I have not. That's fun. That's what I, that's what I wanted to bring up. That's the only thing that's happened since Disney that's been very exciting to me. The espresso machine? Yeah. Yeah, we got an espresso machine. Um, I'll show it to you, even though it's late and I'm not going to make anything. So here she is. She is beautiful. She is our the love of our life. Um, we really love her so much. So we've been pulling, pulling espresso shots every morning pretty much and just enjoying it so, so much. Riley loves it. Well, they definitely were not kidding. It's pretty wild out here. Great. All right, well, I just got myself ready for bed, put on some PJs, brushed my teeth, all of that, and um, it is like perfect reading weather with this storm coming through, although every night's perfect reading weather <laughs> for me, but I'm probably going to try to finish up this book tonight, um, so I am going to go and read. It is what time? It's 8.45 right now, so this is very typical. We get the kids to bed clean up a little bit, get ourselves ready for bed, and then we usually get in bed by around 9 or 9.30, and then we usually are asleep by about 10.30. Um, so that is that. Charlie, do you want to say hi to everybody real quick? Hi, Charlie Bear. What are you doing? Are you a little bit nervous? He's not. He doesn't get scared of storms, although it's pretty loud. What do you think? Hmm? You're over this? Okay, bye. That's a day in our life. <laughs> that's, that's today. <laughs> that is a day in our life. Anyway, enjoy what our playroom looks like after a hard day of playing. Sometimes we pick up the playroom before bed and sometimes we don't. The stormy coziness is calling me, so it's going to just have to stay like this until tomorrow. But anyway, thank you for following along with me today. It's a very typical day in our life. This is what about two or three weekdays look like for us. Um, and I appreciate it. I will link anything that I talked about below if you're interested. And as a reminder, if you want day-to-day -day little snippets of my life, I post every single day Instagram stories to my Instagram subscribers stories. So you can always subscribe if you want a little bit more day in the life style content. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. Bye!